Hi friends, Viganesi here where you learn how to cook, speak Tagalog, and have some fun. Today, we are going to be making what everybody is talking about. What is it, Mama? Well, someone is excited. Raise your hand if you're an eggplant lover because we are going to make an eggplant steak with topping and some yummy gravy sauce the Viganesi way. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much to those who are following me already. So, let's get started. First, let's work on our aubergine eggplant. This is a big eggplant. It's called aubergine. Okay? So, with this one, I like to take that a little bit out. So that it stands properly. So with this eggplant, I normally get four slices. So it, de it depends really on how big your eggplant is. What we're gonna do with this eggplant is sprinkle a little bit of salt and let it sit for 15 minutes, just a little bit, because eggplant doesn't have flavor. So we'll just sprinkle it a little bit of sea salt. Flip it. So we're gonna leave this for at least uh, 15, 20, 20 minutes. So while we're waiting for the eggplant to soak with the uh, salt, we are going to make our marinade. We will start with uh, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I sometimes use aged balsamic vinegar too, if you have one. And then we add one tablespoon of olive oil. And then this is our quarter teaspoon of grounded caraway. We'll just add it to it and just mix it and then we brush it to our eggplant. So as you can see, this is the one that we uh, put salt on, uh, salt on and look at that. It brings the water out. So what we're going to do is we're going to, to tap it with paper towel here to take the water out. That also sc uh, scrape out some of the salt that we put in there. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to brush it with our balsamic and uh, olive oil marinade and we just brush it in our eggplant. Okay, you do it, my little helper. It's like you're painting. I'm painting. I'm painting you with glitter. <laughs> okay, you can call it a glitter. Glitter, please. <laughs> I like painting. Okay. If you eat it, that's paint. Eating. You're painting a food. What are we painting here? Balsamic marinade. That's how you do it too. If you're uh, putting marinade, you have to sweep and a swap and a sweep. Ta da! All right. So, little ship is done brushing it. So, we are going to leave this for at least another 15 minutes to marinate, okay? Our eggplant now is uh, marinated for 15 minutes. We're going to fry it. Let's warm up the frying pan. We'll just add a little bit of oil. And uh, make sure you warm the oil up before you put the eggplant so that, so that it doesn't get burned. So we will fry it uh, two minutes each side or until it's uh, a little bit brown, okay? The temperature should be medium heat. Okay. Now let's flip it. That's perfect. And that's good. Just add a little bit of oil from time to time. A little bit, not too much. Okay, so for eggplant topping, we have uh, four cups of chopped cauliflower, three cups of chopped oyster mushroom, 
we also have these two sprigs of fresh thyme because I love thyme. We have two tablespoons of uh, nutritional yeast. For nutritional yeast, uh, um, I will put a link below where you get it. You can get it in Amazon or any health food store, but I will put the link below, okay? One teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of caraway seeds grounded, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, quarter cup of chopped parsley, half a cup of chopped onion, one tablespoon of tomato paste, four cloves of chopped garlic, and uh, this is one piece of uh, red hot chili. Remove the seeds in it. This is optional, by the way. If you don't like it spicy, you don't have to put this one, okay? Parsley also is optional. I just like parsley. If you don't like parsley, you can use corian coriander too. This is, uh, we need half a cup of uh, water. We also need salt and pepper. Now let's cook it. Of course, we also need a grape seed oil. So I just warm up the pan and put a little bit of oil in it. Okay, it's about one teaspoon of oil. Put our onion, onion, onion first. Let's wait until the onion is translucent. Also like to put the four cloves of chopped garlic. And you can put the fresh thyme in there. Okay. Yeah? I will do this. I will Are do you, mac and cheese. You're gonna do mac and cheese? I love. Someone requested the mac and cheese. She loves mac and cheese. If you like it too, click on the link above. Okay? We're adding the chopped mushroom. And we will cook this for 10 minutes. Let's add salt and pepper. And we will cook this for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is done. We are going to add the cauliflower, add the cauliflower enough. Careful. Let's add tomato paste. Okay, keep adding. Half a teaspoon of caraway seeds. Smoked paprika. Our Worcestershire sauce. Can you say Worcestershire sauce? I have hard time. My my tongue is small. Uh... Worcestershire sauce? Good job. Okay, mix it. Go half a cup of water. There you go. And we will cook this for another seven minutes just to cook the cauliflower. Now seven minutes is done. Let's add the hot chili. Remember, this is optional. If you don't want it spicy, just skip that. Uh, parsley. This is also optional. And nutritional yeast. This is looking good already, and I am starving. Starving here. Are you starving watching too? And then let's turn off the stove. And we are ready to put it in on top of our eggplant. Okay, we are going to put the eggplant in this bed of uh, Kali Lur, which we picked in the garden earlier. You can choose whatever greens you want. So we're just gonna put it like that and we put this this is so yummy and what we do sprinkle it with lemon and then we put the gravy on the top ready to eat let's dig in with this eggplant steak <laughs> yum 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 someone is excited to eat the vegetables mm. 
so good. So, so delicious and I'm so hungry. Mmm, rice my friend. I put turmeric on it with saffron. Very good. Mmm. Mm. You know, without the sauce, it's already yummy, but with the sauce in it, oh, it's to die for. That's it, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to stay tuned for our Tagalog time, okay? If you like it, don't forget to give the thumbs up button. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Welcome to Zelfia's and Nalea's Wall of Learning! Sige mga kaibigan, tayo ay matuto! Handa na ba kayo? Pambabad sa talong!